Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here, and let's take a look at the NECA GameStop exclusive Ultimate It Pennywise figure. Packaging is very cool on this guy. We do have this kind of like uh, 3D cover. That's very cool. It goes from like the I Heart Dairy Balloon to just an image of Pennywise there, so that's really cool. We do have the little GameStop exclusive sticker here. You got the It kind of has that you know what do you call that there's a name for that but I can't think of it at the moment uh, top you have it I hot dairy on the bottom we do have all the cool people responsible for this figure folks over at NECA real toys I did pick this up at GameStop of course gonna run you about $34.99 which we'll get into later uh, side of the packaging we just have it on the back we have a bunch of different images of I guess everything that you get inside here a little bit of a read up more or less just going over the you know, movie itself. And with this being an ultimate, you know, uh, NECA figure, you do have the Velcro. It does have an image of the figure there. And then, of course, we have Pennywise behind the clamshell there. But yeah, that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and get this Pennywise open and take a closer. Okay, so this is what we get out of packaging with this GameStop exclusive NECA Ultimate It figure. And again, this is an ultimate NECA figure. Figure. So I think that's where, you know, a lot of the complaints are going to come in, but I think they're totally fair complaints. I mean, you know, NECA, when they do ultimate figures, that's what they're known for. They're known for packing in a bunch of accessories, bunch of different head sculpts, bunch of different cool accessories. Whereas in this road, I mean, it's more or less just the same exact figure you get the same exact head sculpts um, you know you're more or less just getting the only thing exclusive about it is you get the balloon so this is the same exact balloon that we got with the initial uh, the original Pennywise it does have this wired you know string to it um, it is a hard plastic but and this one does have I heart dairy on it so that's you know the difference between the balloons um, the hands, we get the same hands. Um, you just get one, you know, pair of flat hands or open hands. And these have, you know, blood on his fingernails. And then you have blood on the hands that come on him out of package, which is one gripping hand and one um, balloon holding hand. Because you had a little circle right there to put the uh, balloon string down. And then this is the big one. You do get Georgie's arm, which is very cool. But, I mean, I have to agree that I feel like this should have been an accessory that came with the initial release. You know, we should have got a severed Georgie's arm or just something. A, a whole stack of balloons, not just one balloon. Um, there was just so many more routes and options that they could have taken. Um, you know, so it, it is. You know, for the price you're paying, it's like, it, it, it's frustrating to have to pay $35 get the same figure a little bit different to get really really nothing I mean you know because I mean the Georgie arm yeah it looks good it's cool it has some cool paint on it and everything it's done well enough it is a it's done like in a kind of soft kind of a you know plastic um, and then we do get only two head sculpts with this figure so the initial Pennywise we got you know th three head sculpts and they're uh, pretty much the same head sculpts, I believe. Yeah, because it just, just painted differently. So this is the head sculpt that comes on him out of the packaging. And this one looks good. I mean, you know, the, I, I have no complaints about the original figure or even this figure as far as, you know, sculpt and paint and detail. I think it looks awesome. So this is the same head that we got, which is just a sm the smiling face. So this is the one that we got um, with the original figure. This one's just painted with a whole bunch of blood all over its uh, face. Which then kind of trickles down onto his you know, little scarf piece here. And even trickles down a little bit onto his outfit. But um, besides that, same exact figure. You know, to, to the T. Uh, again, I, they did a great job with the sculpts and paint here on this. Uh, on the figure, it looks awesome, looks cool. The hair looks great. Really good job with the sculpting of the hair and just like the little highlights they put in it and everything. 
And then of course, you know, we have the rest of his outfit, which is, you know, identical to the first release, but again, is done nice, you know, it does, it captures that movie. Look, we have some kind of splattered blood on here. That's the only difference really is just the splattered blood. Um, but the rest of his outfit is pretty much the same. You know, you get all the little ruffles and all the uh, lined details, even on the back here. Very cool, and the, the poofiness of the shirt and all that, and all the ropes that tie it up and everything, and the layers. You know, they, they did a great job capturing the look of Pennywise from the movie, even with his shoes. Again, cool paint job. Got the little, you know, clown fluffs on the front. It's all the same articulation and everything like that, but you know, we'll go over all of that. Now, um, the one gripping hand does hold on to the arm. You can just kind of uh, hold that in there. That's no big deal. And just like on the original release, you do have to be careful, but there is a little tiny hole on here. And I stripped the first one the first time I did this. I stripped it. I don't want to do that to this one. But you can just feed it through this hole here, and he will hold on to the balloon, uh, no problem. You might have to mess with it a little bit because it is a little bit on the heavy side. But I think they should have given us all the balloons, you know, like a, like a big triangle of the balloons, like on that one scene. I think that would have been better. I mean, there was just there, there was just so many different options that could have uh, really set this figure apart from the first one. Whereas um, I feel like these are accessories that we should have got with the first ones. Now, um, uh, the the other head sculpt that we get with this figure is the same head sculpt we got with the original one, that kind of like demonic one where he's opening his mouth up. Uh, so it is the same exact sculpt. Or actually, actually, you know, it looks it looks kind of yeah, that, that's got to be the same exact sculpt. Looks kind of different for some reason, but. I don't see why they would make a whole nother sculpt the exact same way. Just looks a little bit different for some reason. I guess it's just the the paint, the blood, the blood paint that's throwing me off. But this is the um, GameStop exclusive one. This is the original one that we got. So again, we just have blood, which actually looks really cool on this figure. It's kind of like smeared and looks like it's wet, dripping down his face. They did do a good job with that. But it looks nasty and gnarly. It has some like splattered blood on, going up. But uh, yeah, same exact head sculpt. Now, just like the original one, if you have the original figure, you know what, as far as articulation, uh, we do get pretty nice articulation with this figure. Yeah, so you do have, you know, movement of the head. You can rotate it all the way around. You do have a hinge, so you can bring the head down. You can bring the head up. You get really nice side to side. So you get movement at the head and I believe at the neck as well. This is a kind of, you know, loose, soft, floaty piece. Uh, the arms, you do have a ball hinge and they can come out about that much. Uh, it is a little bit, you know, restricted because of the sculpt of the poof right here. You know, you're only going to get about there. But that goes all the way around. You do have a rotation at that first kind of, you know, uh, point right there at his bicep. You do have double jointed elbows, so you get really nice movement with his elbows all the way back, and it's done nice. I like how they did that. It's kind of hidden, you know, with all the busyness of the shirt. Uh, you do have like a ball peg here, so you get full all around movement side to side, uh, front and back, pivot, all around motion. Uh, the legs will come out until they get hindered by his, you know, the bottom of his pants here. Uh, kicking forward and back, same thing. You know, you're going to go until you get hindered. Uh, you do have a thigh swivel. Really, really tight. But yeah, there is a thigh swivel in there. Double jointed knees, again, done really nice. I like how they did this. Great job. Double jointed knees, decent range. Uh, I think you have, rot yep, you have rotation at this end here, both places. And then for his boots, you just have that hinge that brings it all the way back. Uh, not so much forward. But you do have a forward-facing pen that'll kind of kick it out at an angle. And you do have two peg holes at the bottom. So the articulation on them is not bad. Um, you, we still kind of have that same issue with the leg, where the leg kind of wants to be, this leg wants to be bent. I had that same issue with my original uh, Pennywise figure. And it's still a pain in the butt trying to get the heads swapped on and off. But again, I mean, if you do have the two different Pennywises, 
you know, all the parts are interchangeable, of course, between each other. So you could, you know, swap, you know, hands or head accessories, whichever you want to do. You could swap this hand onto this Pennywise to have him holding onto the severed arm. You know, they're basically the same exact uh, figure. Only difference is you get some blood splatter on this one and you get a couple extra accessories. But, you know, honestly, it's, it's, not, it's not an ultimate, in, in my opinion. I just feel like it's... It's kind of a jip, honestly, you know, to, to pay, you know, 35 bucks for an ultimate NECA, NECA figure where you're just not, you know, what, what are we getting? The arm, and that's it. You're really just paying for Georgie's arm at the end of the day because we're not getting anything different. Um, so that's what came with the original or, or with the GameStop exclusive version. I just feel like there was a lot more that they could have thrown in there to give him a little bit more. I'm still waiting for my uh, Tim Curry one to come in. That should be in on the 30th, they said. They're going to call and let me know, so I'll definitely throw that one up when that one comes. And these heads don't want to stay on these NECA stands, man. But, the, you know, we got the two heads with the original Pennywise figure um, that's on the left here. So we got this head and we got this head. So we got the three different head sculpts with the original and we only get two with the GameStop exclusive. But again, same exact figure, same exact height. If you were curious on the height, um, let me get him extended straight up. He is a little bit over uh, seven and a quarter inches tall. And um, as far as some comparisons, like we didn't even get, uh, you know, Georgie's boat with with the with this, the GameStop exclusive one, which we did get with the, you know, original figure. But there's a Jason Voorhees. Here's a Freddy Krueger. As everything goes falling on me here, that's another thing I will say. I mean, I mean, he has, he's, he hasn't taken too many dives on my shelf, but joints do get loose. His leg is a little bit on the wonky side, a little bit on the warp side, so that is a little bit kind of uh, frustrating. But there's a little size comparison between some other NECA Ultimate figures. And then for your, you know, standard Marvel Legends, here's a uh, Captain America. But yeah, guys, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, more or less preference, I guess. If you kind of prefer your Pennywise to be bloodied up or, um, you know, Georgie's arm is, you know, kind of like a key thing you want to have in your display, you know, maybe the GameStop exclusive is the one you want to get. But you're getting less, really, with this figure. You're getting less because you're only getting the one extra head sculpt. And you're getting less hands. You're only getting another pair of hands where I think the original one came with at least a couple of different pairs of hands. Because even the original one, you know, for, for again, for a NECA Ultimate figure, seems like it was a little bit, you know, a little bit on the, on the uh, lacking side as far as accessories. Even though, I mean, it is an awesome figure. You know, at the end of the day, NECA did a great job with the sculpt and the paint on this guy. But um, when it comes to, you know, which one you want to get, it's going to more or less be preference. You know, if you want a bloody version in your display, um, I would say, yeah, go with the GameStop exclusive one. Or if you, you know, specifically want the I Heart Dairy Balloon, I mean, that's another difference that you get in this set. Um, but if you just want a cool Pennywise for your shelf, I would just get the original one because you get you know another head option you get the boat uh you, you get this the balloon and i'm sure somewhere down the line hopefully NECA will come out with maybe an accessory pack or something that will make getting this guy pointless you know because it might come with uh, the arm or the the big bunch of balloons or you know other demonic creature uh things that were in the movie you know but yeah guys that was a look at the NECA ultimate GameStop exclusive It Pennywise figure. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the bell notification, even though it doesn't work. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next figure review.